Hey guys, it's Arcade and today I'm going to show you a new plugin by WA Production called Fundamental Base. So this is how it looks like. So this is a really affordable plugin, so anyone can get it and it will make mixing your bass a bit easier and a bit more precise. So let's take a look at it and I'm going to show you some examples of how you can use it. So I have this bass here and let's see what we can do with it. So this is the default preset. And let me just play the bass by itself for now. So nice little bass and let's see what we can do. So we have the low end and the high end here and we can uh, manipulate each of them. So if we turn off the high end, now we only have the bass, which I already like because it's way better than removing it with EQ. Let's see if we were to remove it with EQ and only have the low frequencies. This is how it sounds, you know. I think it's way better with the plugin because even though you only have the bass, you still have that transient of the original bass. Whereas with EQ, you sort of lose that and you only have this muddy low frequency. Uh, they also have a lot of presets here. And one of them is just pure sub, which is pretty much what I just did. And with this, we can actually move the radius of uh, how much frequencies are affected by this. So So as you can see, we can move that and open it up or just have it on the low frequencies. So let's, so let's work a little bit with the default preset. And now we can actually sort of improve this bass a little bit. So I feel like the higher frequencies are pretty harsh in this one. The low ones, I sort of like, but we can actually do something with them as well. We have some compressors here, so we can move the balance lower. So this is your compressor and this one is more aggressive and it's called flatten. So it sort of compresses the sound heavily. And then we can add the gain back. And then there is mix, which uh, affects how much of this signal is affected by these effects. And then you have this stereo and mono, which is super useful because for your bass, you definitely want it in mono. But for the higher frequencies, you can have them stereo. So let me have the low frequencies in mono. And then let's turn back on the high frequencies. So we have similar situation here. We have the balance, which is the compressor. And then we have drive, which is different, is a distortion basically. So in lower amounts, it's uh, barely noticeable. But in higher amounts... We can add quite a lot of distortion. However, this bass already has some distortion, so, so I don't want to actually add much. Let me compress it a bit. Now let's make a stereo. Okay, let's turn it back on the low signal. And yeah, I think this sounds better because without the effects, the high end is a bit harsh. And it's sort of jumpy, it like jumps out in the mix. So the signal is not like flat, but it's super jumpy. So this is before. And after. So yeah, I mean, it's not as loud. We can add back the gain, but I think it's more sub bassy and I like that about the sound. So 
So yeah, you definitely need to use your headphones or studio monitors to hear the differences. But yeah, with the effects, it's more clean and packed together. Whereas without them, it's sort of all over the place. Okay, now we can play it with the drums as well. Let's also try some of the presets just for fun. Too aggressive. Now we made a sub out of it. Okay, that one is pretty good too. So yeah, it's a really affordable plugin and if you want to improve your bass mixing, it's definitely a good way to go. I'm going to show you one more example where I used it in my new song. So I sort of use it for this hard style bass. So originally it's like a super harsh bass like this, which I didn't want at all, but I really like the low end of it. So what I did, I sort of uh, make the low end more obvious and lower the high end a lot. Then we have this. So I keep some of the high end as you can hear, because if I turn it off completely, it's just the low end, but I wanted some of the greedy bass, but not a lot of it. So this is what I went with. And I layered it with this drum. And it sort of creates this hardstyle drum bass or whatever. And here is how it sounds in the song. So yeah, that's actually one of the videos I'm working on as well. This bass will be there. Of course, without the effect, it will be like this, which is terrible. But that's just too extreme of an example. Anyway, so that's a few ways you can use this fundamental bass. I really like using it to create like sub bass. It really works well for that. And there's a lot of cool effects that can actually make your bass sounds cleaner or dirtier if you want to. So yeah, check it out. Link will be below in the description. As I said, it's really affordable, so anyone can get it if you want to, and you can also try it out. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. It was a short one. I just wanted to show you this plugin. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.